Ready. Aim. Fire. The crack of rifle fire will echo across the battlefield this weekend as Civil War reenactors recreate the Battle of Round Mountain and a Civil War winter encampment. The battle they'll relive this weekend was an early skirmish in Indian Territory where some tribes supported the Union while others sided with the Confederacy. Part of this battle here was they were being, the, the, the loyal Indians were being harassed and their crops burned and their animals stolen and, and they're, they're trying to escape to Fort Scott to get out of Indian Territory. The southern sympathizing Indians were pursuing them. And it was a pretty much a running battle. Or you have a saber in your hand and having a horse that you can do all this stuff to. This weekend's event is part reenactment and part living history lesson for school children. There was 10 companies of men in, in, in each regiment. This group from Kildare in Kay County is learning what it was really like to be a soldier during the Civil War. A guy showed me um, what a basic campsite would have. They had to sleep on the ground. How'd you like to do that? I wouldn't want to. Today was primarily devoted to children, but everyone is invited to visit the encampment and witness the battle recreations on Saturday and Sunday. Some claim the battle actually happened on this site. However, other reports place it in fields closer to Tulsa. That site's now under the Keystone Dam. Recreating Civil War battles is both a hobby and passion for T.E. Mayo and his friends. It's quite an expensive hobby, but it's a lot of fun. We keep uh, history alive. Mayo portrays a Confederate cavalry captain. His horse, Shalabar, has been participating in Civil War reenactments for 20 years. He is just as much a reenactor as we are. And when we get out on the battlefield, he hears the cannons goes. I mean, you can just feel him collect, and he knows what he's supposed to do. Battle recreations will take place at 2 o'clock Saturday and at 1.30 on Sunday. In Yale for ONR, I'm Kathy Tatum.